Hey Dead Grinners. Well, this is Dead Grin. Welcome to Dead Grin Customs. Um, making another quick video for you guys today. Uh, a long time ago, I bought uh, the Dragon Stars Beerus figure. And as soon as I bought it, there's only one thing I wanted to do. Now, I don't know if you guys have noticed my YouTube avatar or my Instagram avatar or my Twitter avatar. It's always the same thing. And it's uh, a, like a character that looks kind of like the um, Universe 11 God of Destruction Belmont or Vermouth, however you want to call him. And uh, I, my original character, my you know OC, is uh, actually based on Belmont. Uh, the character itself is more of a kind of like uh, what's his name, Bobbity, I guess. You know, like a kind of like a, a sorcerer wizard kind of thing. But uh, since I wanted somebody to be able to draw him real quick and I didn't want to have to think too much about the suit I uh, I just went with a straight up uh, God of Destruction outfit for him just I wanted it to be like a clown like Belmont's race but uh, since he's technically the only one we've seen like this uh, and he happens to be a God of Destruction I was like well screw it let's just make him a God of Destruction the, the outfit for my character and you know maybe later I'll do a, a, a real suit for him and uh, so I could like I asked a friend his name is Tenku he's on Twitter he's an artist if he could uh, draw him out for me and he ended up doing it and that happens to be the avatar that you guys see on all three of my social medias. Uh, Tenku is a great artist, you know, and I really appreciate him for uh, having done that for me. And uh, so, basically, when I bought the Beerus, um, he already is halfway there. You know, he already has the suit and everything. All I have to do really is just paint him up white the skin white and you know I could leave it like that but the head is another thing and so I grabbed um, a bootleg piccolo that I had um, and I sculpted I re-sculpted the, the head I, I took off the his antenna added some hair and uh, added the, the bulbous nose and um, you know I, I used milliput putty for that um, but one of the cool things that came out around the time that I was actually doing this figure was uh, in the manga we actually got to see some of Belmont's uh, attacks uh, done by not Akira Toriyama but Toyo Taro and the, his uh, powers were based around uh, cards kind of like Gambit from Marvel so I you know, I was looking through all the, the Marvel Legends gambits and all that stuff. I was originally just going to get his, uh, you know, card effects. And then I was going to buy a figure and then use the effects for my character. But I then I kind of started thinking about it. And around that time, Kenny Boy's Toys did a really cool, like, effect with a sword for Goku Black. I think that he did for a figure right standard. And which is where I ended up making this effect. Now the cards are miniature little cards that I got from Wish.com. And uh, the actual effect is made from hot glue. And it's just colored blue. I made it so that it could form around his hand. I could easily take it off, you know, it's it's not hard plastic, it's just glue, like I said. And it's pretty easy. It was pretty easy to make with a hot glue. Because you just need some surface that's uh, able to, you know, you're able to peel off the, the hot glue from. But uh, I put oil, cooking oil, around his hand 
when I actually made you know a stream of hot and then I pressed his hand up against it let it dry put some water on it to dry a little get cold you know and form and then I peeled it off and the fingers stayed the, the fingerprints or well, the finger marks stayed on the actual effect and now I can put it on whenever you know take it off and put it on it looks cool as hell man I like this effect a lot I'm just gonna make another one for him and I'll probably show you guys on the next video but yeah man chasm you know Madoshin chasm like every single um, Toriyama you know character for Dragon Ball has a pun like the Majin Buu ones they all had a name that were like uh, associated with magic like Bibidi Bobbidi Boo uh, Kadabra was uh, Dabura you know things like that and my name for my character since he was a magical or magic based character I wanted to do the same his name Chasm is like a uh, play on the word Alakazam you know so that's where I got that but Doshin is actually a title for a sorcerer or wizard in Japanese um, and that's what uh, that's the title that um, Bibidi and Bobbity had and uh, so I, I decided to use it for him for my character so his full name I guess is Madoshin Kazum but yeah I'm still I still gotta finish his mouth I still gotta finish his eyes uh, probably end up doing something about his hair I didn't like the way it turned out like the color anyways but uh, yeah man oh like a lot of little details I still gotta finish off like uh, that the, the thing is supposed to be actually black and then on this side his uh, the armband is supposed to be uh, black as well but like a metallic -y black um, and um, I still gotta f color in all these and change this symbol to the the symbol that you know I like a lot which is the one star Dragon Ball but the blue one star Dragon Ball from Dragon Ball GT that's my favorite Dragon Ball mostly because it's associated with Omega Shenron but yeah anyways those are the small details I still gotta finish off for this figure um, and yeah I mean I mean like I said guys you know like uh, your imagination is the only thing that limits you guys if you guys want to get these Dragon Ball figures from the Dragon Stars line or even SH Figures that have an original character from Xenoverse or just an original character you've made up it's always good to be able to see these toys and in your mind be able to rework how you could possibly you know translate your original character into the into an actual figure man it's always a very very cool process and I'm glad I've been able to make a lot of videos you know on that same process of customizing and this guy is definitely not for sale he's gonna go on my collection and I actually bought a Harley Quinn which I'll probably feature in the next Kazum video because there's uh, this head which is a piccolo head and then I have another piccolo head with his mouth open and uh, I use that one to be able to put him eating a pizza because <laughs> that's my favorite food uh, but yeah guys um you know this was dead grid customs and if you guys liked you know my video please hit the like button subscribe share um, you know like what do you guys think about my original character is it too easy is it too simple you know did you guys like it do you guys like the effect that i came up with you know like uh tell me guys his thoughts you know please like i, I love hearing you guys' comments you know i like to i like to see all you guys participate and uh, you know this is a, a customizing community i'm always an open book you guys can ask me anything if you guys have uh, want any tips but uh yeah for everyone watching this in the morning, good morning, and for everyone else, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.